Hi, this is Dan Collins coming to you live from Traders Expo New York. And I'm joined by Danielle Shea of Simpler Trading. Uh, Simpler Trading is a uh, trader education platform. And uh, Danielle, you, you have some really unique tools that, that have spotted some markets that were right at the bottom after the Q4 sell-off, weren't they? Yes, definitely. Um, Simpler Trading, we're an educational company and uh, we run a trading room. We have trading tools that work within Thinkorswim and TradeStation and we teach classes. I'm an, I'm an educator and I love to teach trading options and one of my favorite strategies is uh, finding Phoenix. So. Phoenix stocks are the ones that have risen from the ashes the quickest after the sell-off in December. That's great, and I mean, it was such a great opportunity because it was such a sharp, uh, I think technically it was uh, a bear market, it hit 20% yes. by, mm -hmm. by some people's uh, measures, and that provided a lot of opportunity. Yes, it definitely did. And, you know, especially after a sell-off like that, the most important thing to look for is where relative strength is coming into play and which stocks are being bought up the quickest and which ones are continuing to be purchased. And so by being able to identify which ones um, are the strongest, that's ideally what you want to jump on down there at the lows. Yeah, and here at Traders Expo, we're, we're all about traders. Mm -hmm. They're not all long equity people. And uh, a lot of people lost money in Q4. And, you know, we realized that, you know, beta is a market return. So if the market's higher, everyone's going to move up. Everyone probably moved down in, the, in, in Q4. But it's important to find things that, that are that can provide out extra alpha because you're, you're going to do well when the market goes up but you have to find the ones that, that are going to outperform on a relative basis. Yes, definitely and especially a lot of the high beta names um, and especially uh, industries such as cloud stocks, semiconductors, cybersecurity. These were some of the key industries that I like to call the Phoenix Flyers that were some of the first industries that were immediately purchased on December 26th right after that low and so being able to identify it at the time is critical to get in near the lows. Yeah. Are there any trades that you can share with us now of things that are looking really strong on a relative base basis? Yes, definitely. So, of course, you know, we saw a lot of that strength the last two months in these high-flying um, sectors and industry groups. Right now, what I'm looking at are some of the more unique plays. Because we're in a situation where the market has rallied over the course of the past two months, and finally we got that pullback we've been waiting for. Um, but I've been looking at a list of stocks that I like to call my Millennials Love It list. Uh, this is a list of companies that I've come up with that, uh, number one, have very strong technical patterns, number two, had a lot of relative strength coming in after December, and number three, there are companies that millennials are spending their money on. Okay, that's that's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're, we're a lot of, we hear a lot about millennials here. Mm -hmm. Do you have any names you can throw out? Yes, definitely. So two right now that I'm looking at, uh, the first one is going to be Fresh Pets. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a... Um, company that makes natural dog food. Very expensive, but the dogs love it. It's FRPT. People spend more <laughs> on their dogs than they do on, on, on themselves these days, it seems. They do, and it has a very strong technical pattern. Right now, it's in a bit of consolidation. I'm looking for a new breakout to new highs, and I think it's a great long-term stock play as well. So I like to trade it in, option, in the options market as well as just buy and holding stock. Okay, now what, what are the traders that come in and, and visit uh, simpler trading? Well, we have a group of traders that I work with. Um, John Carter, he's the founder and CEO. Henry Gamble's our vice president. The three of us work pretty closely together, very similar directional trading strategies. Um, and then we have a whole host of other traders as well. We touch on futures, options, equities, and the, the people who come to us are retail traders wanting to learn how to trade. So we just trade our own accounts with a uh, Anyone who wants to join us, looking over our shoulder, and we teach why. Yeah, I think John Carter was on the first panel I ever did at a Trader's really? Expo about 2004, <laughs> really? 2005. It's been great to have you with Thank us. Thank you so much. We're going to take a quick break and be back at Trader's Expo New York.